Namaste, beautiful gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Tayen Krampa. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. For the very first time in a long time, I went by my married name, my last name. And um, I'm not going to change my name on the YouTube channel, but I will be Dr. Krampa, okay? So, with that being said, welcome, 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 everyone. I'm going to be doing a channel message for Henry and Megan. They are still queen and king at its finest. They are still royals because what they have cannot be taken away. The royalty that they have, the type of royalty that they have is beyond the physical DNA. It's in their spiritual DNA. And last night, I wanted so bad to channel this message for you. And I was told by spirit that I needed to pour into my own self and my own soul and know. But baby, when I got that green light just a few minutes ago to go ahead and channel this for you guys, I got super excited because... Let me explain something to you for all of you that are here that are Twin Flames. This is a precursor and a marker for the rest of the collective. Henry is truly a divine masculine who is protective over his divine feminine. They have complete integration and unification of their souls. They know who they are. He is standing in his autonomy. I'm gonna get so much knee deep deeper into this, okay? We're gonna go so deep and so far down this rabbit hole. I am gonna be talking about things that I have never channeled, never shared. This is the first type of channeling of its kind. I have never channeled for a celebrity or a public figure. I don't even touch world news, but my angels brought this to me and by golly, I am going to go ahead and deliver what you are missing. So pull up a seat, get comfortable because I am about to spill a tea. Nobody knows any of this information that I'm going to share. Well, you guys don't know now, <laughs> but this is hot off the press. This is what the angels divulged and shared with me as I was laying down the cards all of it was coming to me and I even took some notes because I did not want to miss a beat so without further ado let me go ahead and call in some help by calling air fire water earth spirit and ether and I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high which is Yadhi Vahe who will be able to give me information that is necessary for this beautiful reading in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future. I call upon Prince Henry's higher self and Meghan Markle's higher self, their angels, their guides from the higher realms. And so it is. Let me go ahead and clear this energy with some crown chakra energy here for my bell. This is to keep the trolls away. I also got some frankincense and myrrh burning. So we can only get those from the higher realms. First and foremost, let me just be blunt. Let me be frank. <coughs> this video is not for conspiracy theories or scare tactics or anything like that. But I'm not going to filter anything. I'm going to give it to you the way that the angels gave it to me. First of all, we know that the British is part of the world empire which some people slap different names and labels on it some people call them the illuminati etc point is they're reptilians now lady diane did not come from royalty lady diane was a star seed okay like begets like what do you think that prince henry is he's not a reptilian okay now with that being said Henry is very intuitive. He was born for this, DNA coded for this. This is 
divine prophecy at its finest. This is divine prophecy taking place in shape right before our very eyes. Now, this is also being used as an, a, a distraction. We all know there's something else that's underhandedly going on behind the scenes. But as spiritual people, we're going to take this and we're going to use it to our advantage because this is spearheading us into our unions. Henry is the perfect example for our divine masculines. A lot of our divine masculines are resurfacing and reawakening. Of course, Henry is fully awake. Okay. Fully enlightened, standing in his autonomy. And I pull, and here's the crazy thing. I usually do these cards last. I was told by the angels to do it first, to paint a picture for you. First of all, this is Henry. He is the inspired warrior. Okay. This is what the angels told me. This is the energy in him. There has been a fire ignited in him for rightful cause and right action. Love and right action is what this warrior represents and symbolizes because this card as the emperor, he is courageous. He's using his strength and his resolve in the matter. He is protecting his wife, which is, well, was supposed to be queen, right? So he is doing his due diligence to protect her passionately. Along with that, he is standing up for his divine feminine. Now, check this out. The divine masculines in the collective are also doing the same. They are now starting to get lit up with this fiery zeal from their higher selves and they are starting to strengthen their resolve and they are now protecting divine feminines in, in, a, in a manner that they have not always protected her, putting her up on a pedestal and, and, and letting her know come what may that he will never leave her side and she will never have to face this or anything in life alone. This is what King Henry is also doing for Megan. This fiery productivity um, is not something, you know how some people can make it look more simple or more easy than what it really is. You guys, there's a lot of pressure that has been put on this couple here. A lot of pressure but he's still being proactive despite any outer appearances he's still moving and charging ahead and it's really amazing because I pulled the first card from Tarot and it's matching the same energy you guys in war the knights go before the kings mind you this is a prince but he has even allowed himself to be reduced to the status of the Knight of Wands. He has reduced himself from even being a king. He has reduced himself from even being a prince to now he's in the Knight of Wands energy because he is passionate. He is very fierce when it comes to his divine counterpart. Now, I do want to say that the Knight of Wands deals with scattered energy. There is a lot of scattered energy around this situation between him and Megan. And this card, it indicates the unexpected moments in life that really rock your world and really shake you to the core of your being. That is being done right now. What I am being told by the angels is that some secrets have come out. Some things have come out about the way that his mother died and in relation to his mother's death. And as a husband, he feels under obligation to protect his wife. This is what it's all about. In case you didn't know, now you know. He... As a man wants to make sure that she feels safe and that she feels secure. And so he is being led to act. 
he is being called to act because he knows that this is bigger than just a title. This is a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual warfare, you guys. Prince Henry knows that. Megan knows that. Next, we have good fortune. Well, all is not lost, okay? Because don't get it twisted. Just because he doesn't have the title doesn't mean that he's still not an heir. Doesn't mean that he still doesn't benefit as an heir. He is not losing anything as far as his material possessions, okay? God takes care of his own. There's a scripture in the Bible where it says that if you put the kingdom first, then all these other things will be added to you, right? So don't get it twisted. There is going to be a recompense. There is going to be a compensation. They're not going to walk away with nothing. All right. Megan is very emotional right now. You may not see it. All right. They give us the face that they're coerced to give us. But deep down inside, she's experiencing a lot of emotional turmoil. She's submerged in her emotions right now. Her husband knows that. Her husband feels that. And as the man and the divine masculine that he is, He's even protecting her on all levels across the board. He already knows that he's been called to do this. This is what he's been groomed for, okay? Spiritually speaking, Henry knew that this day was coming. This was like a self-fulfilling prophecy. The day that he married her, he knew that eventually he would have to give all of this up. He knew that it wasn't no tiptoeing around the tulips. He knew his family. He knew what they were capable of. He knew that eventually this would be their reality. He knew. But he also knew that, that his treasure houses, his storehouses of wealth and abundance alike, came from within he knew that there was more to be gained than to be lost by taking Megan on as a wife this is truly a world win romance and I'm not just saying that because I'm enamored or I am a hopeless romantic and I'm just falling for the glitz and the glim no I am tapped into the energy right now. This man really, truly, authentically loves her. And he is truly her bona fide twin flame. They are twins. They are twin flames. He is truly a bona fide divine masculine with spiritual royalty and DNA in his blood. Not just earthly. And he knows that. And that is what he stands on. And that's what he is fighting on. In the nine of wands, he is standing up and he is fighting for the injustice. And this is the reason why we got the judgment in reverse that is going on in relationship to his marriage with his wife. Okay. And when we see the judgment in a reading, we know that it's about the scales needing to be balanced, the right needing to be made, the right, the wrong needing to be made right. Because there has been a lot of injustices that Megan has suffered that has been out of media, that has been kept out of uh, social media that we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? So we also have the five of cups in reverse. This is about a time of healing, a time of renewal within the relationship. We can certainly see this happening, can't we? We can see this happening by the different changes that are taking place as we now speak. We also have the full. The full in reverse represents purity, newness. Even though it's in reverse, it still symbolizes something new, something pure. Henry is not acting out of foolishness. He's not being a fool in love. 
he is acting out of a place of standing in his autonomy, knowing who he is, what he is, and who he really belongs to. And that he is not settling for the human conditioning and the systems that he was raised up in. This is a true example of a divine masculine. A lot of divine masculines get stuck in societal beliefs and traditions and the way that their family raised them. And so they're not able to leave their mother and father and cling to their wife like King Henry or let's say Prince Henry. He has truly in every sense of the word set the example and raised the bar for all divine masculines. He has left, he is leaving his family and he is clinging to his wife. Now, I'm not making this religious, you guys, because anyone that knows me knows that I'm by far not religious, okay? I'm spiritual, but the Bible does carry weight when it comes to prophecy, and I can't deny the truth. The prophecy is truly, in every sense of the word, being fulfilled by Prince Henry right now, at this very now moment. We have the Ace of Wands. This is about the passionate new beginning. Right before our very face, right before our very eyes, we can see the passion and the new beginning that is happening for the two of them. We can see their love. We can see the compassion between the two of them. And most importantly, don't you see the divinity? Don't you see the trust that they have in one another? That come what may, that together in unification of the souls, they are willing to face whatever they come up against because together they are stronger than what they will be if they were apart. Speaking of which, they saw this tower coming. Both of them saw this tower moment and they looked it dead on, straight on, right in the eyes, right in the smack of everything. But they were willing to succumb and surrender now, this tower that's here, it represents the secrets that were hidden from both Megan and Henry. Some things have come out, like I told you, about his mother's death. And so now, Henry was forced to act from a place of truth, from a place of love and right action. And so he did what he had to do to protect his wife. All right? His mother died. I don't know if you know the story about Princess Diane and how she died. Her husband was having affairs on her. She knew about it. The moment that she started having an affair herself, he killed her. So, again, Henry is doing damage control. He's protecting his wife. He's being the divine masculine in this and this is not easy, okay? In order for you to be able to step down or, you know, they were going to take this away from him anyway. He knew it. So he denounced it first. He's not stupid, you guys. He knew that they were going to take his position away from him. You didn't know? I knew. I saw that coming before this even happened. I seen this happening. I seen this when they got married. I told my husband, I said, honey, he's going to end up stepping down. They're going to make him. He was like, no, you know, things are changing in the world. Okay. You can believe that if you want to, you cannot teach your old dog new tricks. This is about po politics, you guys. And politics even come before families when it, this is the name of the game when it comes to the elite. All right. They don't give a damn about him being flesh and blood. This is a numbers game. And they've been winning these numbers from the very, very beginning of time. And they're not going to allow for one of their own to shortchange them or in their mind, jip them out of what they believe is rightfully theirs and put it into another lineage. All right. So just follow me as I am intuitively guided to continue to channel these messages for you. So now we're at a place where Henry foreseen this happening. He was forewarned. He was already prepared emotionally, physically, 
mentally, spiritually, and financially. Don't get it twisted. He got money. He got back up. He's not going to ever be in a poor house, and neither is Megan. That's assured. We have the world card. This represents new world consciousness. New world consciousness is here, you guys. We're already in a new earth. This is a completion of the cycle for them as being royals. This is the end of that cycle. So now they are ready to step into their mission, their divine mission and purpose. You guys know twin flames always have to step into mission in order for that to work. Henry was led by his higher self and source to step into that mission. He could no longer hang on to the old. He had to allow that to let go. This is the year of vision, 2020. Old cycles have to end. And if you're picking up what I am laying down, you are following me very well to know that he is a divine masculine. She's a divine feminine. And they had to close out those old cycles because divine feminine married into a karmic family. Prince Henry family were karmics. So now they're standing and they're 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 standing in their autonomy and they're stepping into their mission together. Things are finally on the right track for them. Although it may look like all the pieces are falling down and in fact everything is falling into place. He had to give up his former life in order for him to achieve his highest goals. And he knows that his highest goals will soon be achieved because this is the whole purpose of why all of this is happening. The integration and the unity, the love, the balance, and the evolution of their souls. And with the will going in a circle round and round, this symbolizes the affinity of this cycle and it's an ongoing one. I'm not talking about the old cycle, you guys. I'm talking about the new cycle for them in love. This card also represents the elements Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus energy. Take what resonates. But right now, for the very first time, Prince Henry is giving Megan a solid ground to walk on, to stand on. He is giving her that foundation that she should have had at the very beginning. Right now, he's conquered his world. That's the reason why the world card is here. It's because he has truly conquered his world. Everything has all come together for him and her. And now, they're both in the right places in their life, doing the right thing. And achieving what they both envisioned. Not what was predestined for them, you guys. Remember, to be a twin flame is also about breaking cycles, generational curses. This is exactly what he's doing and he knows it. And now you know it. Those things that have been handed down, passed down, those things no longer serves us. And what a true example for a royal to step out of royalty that is known and defined by men. And step into royalty that is known and defined by God. They're not defined by men. They're being defined by them themselves actually in their God self within because we are all divine sparks and from that that puts them in a higher position that was a power play that was a power play if I have never seen one now we are truly seeing that their inner and their outer world are now coming together in perfect harmony and balance to show the wholeness and the completion that is in their union. So within you guys, 
so without, and that is being made known and evident to the world alike. There is no doubt about the power that love has to transform. Prince Henry is the epitome of that. He has truly set that bar so high and he has shown each divine masculine how to step into your autonomy. You cannot do this alone. No man is an island. Everything that he has done every step of the way, his wife has been right by his side from one decision to another. The two must become one. Although I didn't have the two of cups energy here, I do feel the energy so ever present. I also feel the lover's card. The two of cups represents their divine union. And then the lover's card represents the spiral dance and the harmonious dance of life. The two of them have intertwined their lives together in such a way that they truly have defied all odds. There are no more excuses in this divine feminines and divine masculines. You truly were looking for a perfect example of twin flames that are true twin flames that are married and that have stayed together in spite of it all. And Source delivered you this hot off the press through your news media, through your social media outlets. You have gotten a cosmic confirmation that all things are possible. And I have come to the conclusion of your beautiful reading. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to. Or you can purchase a gift from my wish list on Amazon and it will appear on the channel. I now wrap you in my love and I cloak you with the light of Christ consciousness. And I do want to say one last thing. Of course, you know I'm going to do an extended on the Royals. Why wouldn't I? If you're interested, follow me there for $11.11 .11, and I will give you more secrets and more details. Namaste.